Brock. I'm not as limber as I used to be, while well, you... Fair. Well. See you at home. In the name of someone very sore right now. Prince Zagreus proceeded onward toward a certain doom, entirely too graphic to describe. I'm back. Huh. I'm up, I'm up. Just keeping watch over the pool of sticks there, same as always. Congratulations, boy. Now, here you go, Serpy. And, um, don't eat me, please. Always feel better talking to you, boy. The dog has enough troubles of his own. Always wanted to ask you something, Father. Whose skull is that there on your shoulder? If it's not too personal. I did not chronicle all Typhon's wretched offspring, boy. No one did. Some of them sit upon our shoulders now, lest we forget that things could easily have turned out rather differently, and much, much worse. So these are just the remains of the spawn of the most hideous monstrosity of all time, which you and your brother slew, got it? I guess putting the dead in their place is all part of the job. I can hardly imagine what it was like before you and the Olympians took charge. You're better off. Mother, I know there may not be many things you miss from living on Olympus, though I wondered if perhaps Ambrosia may be one of them. And got you some, because, well, here. <gasps> Why, this really is Ambrosia. How did you even acquire this, Sagrius? It brings back memories for certain, and never the bad ones, which... I think it must be why we prize this stuff so much. This is for me. It is, it is, of course. And it's my dearest hope that at some point long from now, when you're relaxing with a bottle of ambrosia, dare I say perhaps with father, that these memories will be among the ones that spring to mind. Oh, my son. I shall certainly not need ambrosia to think back upon getting to know you with the greatest fondness. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, mother. Turns out there's still an awful lot to do around here, isn't there, Zagreus? I'm still getting caught up on day-to-day -day affairs. Day-to-day? -day? How can you even tell it's day around here anyway, Mother? Well, that was just a guess now that you mention it. In any case, forgive me if I don't get swooped up in every household detail, all right? Never. Kidding, of course. Nix, all you've done to help me with the Olympians, the Mirror, the House Contractor, I... I worry that if Father were to know that he would turn his wrath upon you. I don't want anything to happen. You need not fear for me, my child. For I am not some underling your father has authority to punish if it pleases him. I am the Knight, and it is by my grace that this house stands. Your father knows this. Thus, he and I have certain common goals. We are obligated to cooperate. Obligated to cooperate? No wonder I thought you two truly were husband and wife. Your father and I sometimes convince ourselves. Cerberus in the spotlight. What's for breakfast? Dinner, maybe? All right, then. What's up for barter? Well, well. I saw you voided the old pact between Orpheus and your father. So now he gets to see his wife from time to time? He does, and I did then. I think we can stand to see a little less of him if it means he can be happier for the remainder of eternity. You really need to learn to stop meddling in others' affairs. Did either of them even ask your help? I can't imagine Orpheus did, and I'm guessing his wife's feelings were complicated too. 
from what I know of the circumstances of their final meeting. What? Orpheus is my mate, then, and I came to know his muse, Eurydice, as well. They still had feelings for each other, but with no way to communicate. So you decided to step in. I think my instincts on the subject are just not the same as yours. I know your intentions were in the right place, but... You know what? Forget it. Than, wait. These wall scrolls are awful. Achilles is probably in Elysium. 